Let's try this again. We're going to do, well, thank you for those who want to read the Bible with me. I'm reading the Bible too. I've read the whole, whole Bible before uh, a couple of times, and I include it in my prayer light. That's what I do. I mean, in the words, when I go to sleep at night, I normally like to read one chapter out of the Old Testament, and, and, and I like to read it, you know, to start all over again. When I'm studying, I'm studying different things in the Bible, but to get the big picture and keep understanding, you want to read the Bible and, and get some understanding of the uh, from from Genesis all the way to Malachi. But it it, it 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 really builds up when you sit there and do it in that sequence, and then you just incorporate that into your prayer life. It's just just faith comes by what hearing and hearing the word of God. So you want to just you want to put that Bob, put the the Bibles in there where you read daily. I sit there. And uh, I find it refreshing because I can, it helps you recall when people's giving, when people else, when you go into a study with somebody else, or when you're actually uh, having a conversation with somebody, you can recall because as I, I find a lot of cases you talk to some people, they don't remember or they know they read the Bible, they just can't remember that what happened. Uh, so we do it this way. We We can actually, if you do it, in sequence, and then you also incorporate your study time with people who go to church and they're going to talk about different scriptures. So you all you're doing is just maintain that big picture of the progression of the Bible. And the Old Testament is a huge Bible too, so it, it takes that, but it ties a lot of stuff ties into the New Testament. That's why you want to read it. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and share. Let's read. I I thought it was. Recorded a few minutes ago. It didn't look like it took, so I'm going to try it again. Uh, chapter 19 in Genesis. It's going to be interesting. You're going to see the uh, the destruction of Solomon and Gomorrah. You're going to also see uh, the, I'm trying to, I guess it's still alive. Let's see where it's at. Uh, what do you call it? Technical challenges, right? Okay, we'll keep tracking. All right, anyway, you, you continue to uh, just see how to break down in the Bible. So let's try this as far as chapter, Genesis chapter 19. All right, here we go. The poem. The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered. We will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they did go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot. Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Lot went outside to meet them and shut the door behind him and said, Oh, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you. And you can do what you like with them, but don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of our way! They replied. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to put the judge? We'll treat you worse than him. They kept bringing pressure on the line and moved forward to break down the door. But the men inside reached out and pulled Lot back into the house and shut the door. Then they struck the men who were at the hood of the house, young and burdened with blindness, so that they could not find the door. The two men said to Lot, 
Do you have anyone else here? Sons-in-law, sons or daughters or anyone else in the city who belongs to you? Get them out of here because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry to the Lord against his people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, Hurry and get out of this place, because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking. With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry. Take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hand and the hand of his wife and of his two daughters and led them safely out of the city, for the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please. The servant has found favor in your eyes and you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it. It is very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. He said to him, Very well. I will grant this request to you. I will not overthrow the town you speak of, but flee there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you reach it. That is why the town was called Zoar. By the time Lot reached Zoar, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah. But the Lord out of the heaven. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of stars. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw dense smoke rising from the land, like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham, and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. Lot and his two daughters left Zoar and settled in the mountains, for he was afraid to stay in Zoar. He and his two daughters lived in a cave. One day the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old. And there was no man around here to give us children. This is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family and through our father. That night they got their father to drink wine, and the older daughter went in and slept with him. He was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. The next day, the older daughter said to the younger, Last night, I slept with my father. Let's get him to drink wine again tonight, and you go in and sleep with him, so we can preserve our family line through our father. So they got their father to drink wine that night also, and the younger daughter went in and slept with him. Again, he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. The older daughter had a son, and she named him Moab. 
He is the father of the Moabites of today. The younger daughter also had a son, and she named him Ben Ami. He is the father of the Ammonites of today. Amen. That, that, that was the uh, Genesis 19, saw the destruction of Solomon and Gomorrah. Uh, and also we saw the, the unfortunate situation where you saw the, uh, the incest where uh, Lot's daughters got them drunk and then slept with them. And they became pregnant and the Moabites and Amorites, uh, the, the other people that Israel will be fighting. And that is, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, but that's, that's the Bible. And the thing is that those are things, little things you need to know and be aware of as you go from Genesis to Malachi. Uh, I do recommend after you actually, after you actually finish, and that's going to be a very long time because so many chapters there, um, the, go back, start over again and start dissecting and getting more into each chapter, uh, more of a, a Bible study, but that, that's the whole point. You want to read the Bible first so that when you do studies with other people, you know, or I do also recommend just to start reading all over again. You'll see the stuff that you missed the first time. You'll see it the second time around. Amen. All right. God bless you. I appreciate you coming and listening and sticking with me, those who desire to do so. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.